So I'm here in Lakeland, Florida. This is a uh, mobile home where I'm about to uh, peel back this um, outer covering of this mobile home and uh, see what we got in there. So I peeled back this outer covering and uh, obviously they've only been here a, a few days. See the little bit of comb they have? And I was manually, you know, getting handfuls of them because they were clustered all the way down to here. And uh, so uh, I was doing it slowly and carefully and finally found the queen. By the way, I have my uh, deep, uh, my deep, 10 frame deep here I use for removals up here on the roof. And uh, there's the queen. I'm not going to say she's beautiful or not. Uh, I, to me, all of them are. <laughs> she looks just good. She looks great to me. You know, when people do removals, they'll say, look how beautiful this queen is. But they all look beautiful to me. All right, so what I'm gonna do is uh, get a few more handfuls of these bees real carefully and gently and uh, just put them on top of these bars. And then I'm gonna smoke the rest of them out. So I smoke the uh, remaining bees. There's a, of course a few of them still in there crawling around, but for the most part, I smoked all those bees up into the air. And now they're gonna orient to the hive I have up on top of the roof because the queen's right on top of them in the clip. And uh, they're not aggressive whatsoever. They're probably uh, very thankful they're going to have a very nice home to move into. I'm not saying this was a bad home, but uh, what bee wouldn't want to live in a home that I built? And you can see them all up on the, the top of the hive fanning, telling their sisters to come home. clustered on top of the queen clip. Yep, so I put the comb, that little piece of comb, and the queen uh, on the middle frame and lowered the comb and the queen clip inside. And so no more bees are over here except the ones that are flying around a little bit. Uh, but they're all going to find their way over here with the help of uh, the queen pheromone and uh, these bees fanning their pheromone, which is the lemongrass smell. And at night, I'll seal up the little wheel right there. See, that's why when I do removals, I built these Langstroth hives that don't have the large opening and the bottom board and all that. Uh, it's just too much trouble. Um, I made them very simplistic just for these purposes of doing remo removals and I slapped them together cheap. So this is the 10 frame deep model that I use, you know, and I could have put them in a lot smaller hive and I may transfer them later, but I could have put them in a medium uh, nuke or a, uh, a deep nuke. So this hive right here is a little bit overkill. But uh, it's all that I had left in my van right now because I just picked up a swarm earlier today in a, a deep nuke. And um, some of you may be asking, well, why don't you have foundation in there? 
Well, I'm one of those hippie foundationless people. So that's pretty much why I want them to build their own natural comb. And that's the only uh, way I'm going to use Langstress is uh, all natural foundationless comb. I'm not saying the other way is bad or anything like that. This is just my preference. So everybody's got their own way of doing things and uh, I'm going the foundationless route. Yep, uh, pretty much all the bees are in for the night. Uh, there's one left out here on the porch doing the fanning to call any final stragglers home. So uh, here's the hive I picked up yesterday from uh, the Lakeland, Florida mobile home cutout. And I'm going to open the entrance. Welcome to East Lakeland, ladies. Um, also, I picked up a swarm yesterday while I was out and um, the queen's in there in a clip so you see the, the gentleman actually knocked him out of the tree into a box it's a long story but uh, I got there and put him in this hive and the queen seemed like she was a little injured so um, if she doesn't make it through I'm gonna have to get them a new queen Alrighty then. So here's the part where I release the queen. <clears throat> you know, I was thinking about moving these bees out of this tin frame into a five frame but I started looking at them and it's a lot more bees than I thought they're they have a good crew building comb on most of these bars already so it, it would have been too many bees for a five frame deep so anyhow let's see what's going on here There she goes in. Good show. Now let me get the lid on this sucker before they decide to do anything stupid. Very, very healthy orientation flight uh, this hive's doing now. A couple of days later after I brought them home. I think today's what, March 5th or March 6th? Well anyway, it's Saturday. But very, very healthy orientation flight. Almost to the point where I thought they were swarming. <laughs> it was so loud. But uh, this is a good sight to see. These bees are coming out and learning how to be foragers. And, uh, once you hear this roar. 
Some of them are already bringing in pollen, of course, as you can see. And then they kind of swirl up in the air as they uh, gain more knowledge of the territory and confidence. They get higher and higher and start going out on their own, and bringing home the bacon. Nice, nice, nice.